In this video, we will install the SSRS report server and uh, then we will install the report server project within Visual Studio. So for this, you need to open browser and uh, you have to write install SSRS. And uh, this is the link. And here you have to download the SQL Server 2019 reporting services. Click download. And now double click. And uh, you have to select install reporting services. And we need to choose the free, uh, free edition. Click next. Accept. Then next, before installing the reporting services, you need to install the SQL Server database engine, right? And after the database is there, for example, um, let me show you what is the database engine. Here you can see the SQL Server Management Studio. And here you can see this is the database engine that we had already installed, right? So, then we just need to click next. This is the installation path. Install. And uh, here you can see this setup completed. And uh, configure manually and customize setting. So we need to configure the report server. Click configure report server button. Click yes. And uh, this is the name of the server and uh, the instance will be SSRS. Just you just need to click connect. So you can just uh, click one time you can stop it and then you can start. Right. So here you can see the message in the task completed successfully. Right. Then click on the service account. So for the service account, you have to select network service. And uh, then you need to apply. So this is also successfully fine. And uh, then you have to click the web service URL. You don't need to change anything here. Just apply. So it is also uh, this task is also completed successfully right and uh, then you have to click the database the under database you have to click here change database and we need to create a new uh, report server database click next so this is the name of the server and the authentication type uh, we can use the current user integrated security that's fine Test connection is successful and then we click next. Next, this is a database name report server. Click next, next. So it will create the, the database for the report server. So all ch checks are successful. Finish. And uh, then you have to click here the encryption keys. Then you have to click here backup. Backup the key to a password protected file for the report server recovery in case of emergency. Right. So here you have to click for the backup purpose. You need to for the backup purpose you need to click backup. And uh, then the location will be you can choose here. For example, this location under Zoom. So you can write any, you can create any folder and the name of the file for this I have just uh, put like TT cancel and uh, then we need to again we, we have to check okay so the subscription setting we don't need to do, uh, we don't need to configure this uh, subscription setting so we will do when the, this topic will come and uh, now we have to uh, now you you can check here either the report server is working fine or not so here you can see this is the reports right uh, in the this is the name of the server slash reports so this is this is and when you will see reports at the end 
it will be called report manager right and if you click here web service url and you see at the end we have the uh, report server so here you can see at the end we have report server so this is the report server right we have two um, stuff one is the report manager and the other is the report server right if you click the web portal url and click the reports so this is the report manager where we can deploy our reports right and uh, this is the name of the server this one and this is the the report manager right and uh, if you again click here and go to the uh, web service url this is the report server so here you can see the the report server is there so when we when we will deploy these things you will see when we have to use the report server and when we have to use the report manager right so that's all about the installation now let's go to the visual studio you need to install the visual studio 2019 now we have to install the ssrs report server project so we will click here continue without code and uh, if i click here new file new project and uh, then i try to search ssrs or the report server project see we are not able to see any report server project because we need to install the report server project right so we need to go to the extensions manage extensions and here we have to search report server and this is the microsoft reporting service project we need to download so here you can see it's created by microsoft this is the version and the downloads and everything so we need to close it so we just need to close the visual studio and then it automatically pop up the vsix installer we need to click modify so the modification completed we need to close and uh, now we have to open the visual studio community edition 2019 and uh, now we, you have to click here create new project and uh, you can search here report server we are able to see here report server project wizard and the report server project so we will check both but for now we just need to see what says inside report server we just need to click the report server project click next this is the name of the like here you can write the, the first report this is the location and uh, we just need to create place this solution and project in the same directory so this is the the interface right here we will create the shared data sources shared data set reports and uh, then we will see here the toolbox right so in the next video we will start the reports development within the visual studio and then we will deploy and do the and do the further things so if you like this video please subscribe our channel and if you have any question please write in the comment section thank you